What's going on, Twitch? How's everybody doing tonight? I'm I'm doing good. It is a uh, second night of streaming. Um, a little bit of a follow up for yesterday. Did a whole render that took seven hours. Yeah, I rendered out the uh, the animation that we did. Hope everyone's having a good night. Just finished watching Mr. Cladney Cut's stream. I enjoyed it. It was very good. Uh, playing Armaget, big supporter of this channel. And um, tonight we are following up with um, the R2D2 BB8 animation. I found um, some hiccups that I didn't see in, um, in my original animation uh, in Cinema 4D. For some reason, sometimes uh, it just pops up like this. It just happens to where you render out a whole animation, you get the final version, and mistakes happen. Learn from the mistakes and uh, move on knowing what you learned and applying it to your future projects, whatever you do. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to take this knowledge of failure and or some of failure. It looks good. I'm going to show you right now what it looks like. Um, here we go into... After Effects. Turn up the music just a bit. Run into After Effects, and then um, I'm just gonna play it. You can kind of see um, there's like a hiccup moving, and it kind of like stops. And BB-8, his ball kind of stops. I believe you can see it. I can see it on the live stream. Um, I love Redshift. Look, like each frame looks good. Like if I pause right here, that looks like a beautiful picture frame. There's motion blur in the background. There's motion blur on BB-8's uh, lower sphere. But if you go to like the beginning, there's barely any uh, motion blur uh, on BB-8 or in the background. It looks like there's barely any right there on the, the background. So it kind of doesn't match up when you go from frame zero to frame one it just it just jumps now if i were to cut that out i don't know how how different that would be so i'm going to re-import it from 89 to 89 no. i might be able to salvage this i might not be able to First frame, I'm gonna cut that out. And I'm gonna. Oh, it's at 30 frames a second. Screw it. Um, trim comp to work area. So, first frame is already blurred out. BB 8 sphere is blurred out. Only difference is that on the last frame, there's no lasers. On the last couple frames, they kind of just disappear. And instead, the jump from this frame, the last frame, to the first frame is there's lasers. So that's that's one, that's another thing that I messed up that I'm trying to fix. So if we play this one at full res, you can kind of see like the background actually works in a way. But if you actually watch it over and over again, um, the lasers appear and disappear or they disappear they fade out and reappear I mean the motion in the um, the camera looks really cool we got that down the motion blur in the background doesn't look a hundred percent good um, the one thing I really like is BB-8's if I can get to it, I'm gonna re-render this so long. If you look at BB-8's glass, that is just, that's exactly what I want. That is my, my happy 
you know, little piece of the uh, piece of the animation. Realistic reflections is what I like, especially when it comes to the glass. That is the perfect um, perfect part because you can actually see if I freeze frame it, you'll see like uh, the laser curving around the glass and everything. With R2D2, you can see reflections and like hits of light, and especially with R2D2's um, glass. It's not as big as um, or prominent as BB-8, but it looks perfect. It looks it looks realistic. Um, the only other thing I would do differently to this is probably do a um, color correction curve. I, think I might crush it a little bit, make make the hallway a little bit darker, but also bring the brightness up so the glow of the lasers can be more prominent. So you get that separation of uh, light and dark. This is what I would do for um, YouTube, but not Instagram, because the way Instagram compression works, they want you to actually bring up the, um, the shadows. Apparently, uh, Instagram's algorithm likes that better. So they want you to have almost like a flat image and it will render out better. Um, but you're going to go into, uh, cinema 4d. We're going to rework this. Um, I kind of started reworking this. I didn't know if I wanted to keep the gorilla cam animation where it's like the shaky cam. Yeah, this is the gorilla cam shaky animation. I like it because it looks nice. It's, it's very. Um, almost like handheld and there's a lot of movement into it you can kind of feel like they're they're running away from something um, and then with the the cloner that I did for the laser loop I added more iterations to extend the cluster so I have a cluster and then I extended that cluster so you don't see any um, any fall off or any like dead frames of no lasers so this should match up with just about ma yeah it matches up and then I'm trying to get BB-8 and the background to actually blur on the first frame if not we just found out that I can um, technically cheat it by not doing the first frame so I'm going to make sure this isn't saved and it's going to do the current frame first frame if that background isn't blurred and I also found a way to um, I found a way to speed up the render I think each render was taking like each frame was taking a little over a minute oh no that was the wrong the actual final one yeah they were taking like six minutes per frame um, because I was in 1080p, I would love to do 4K, but I don't have the time for that. Um, let me turn down my mic just a little bit. It's a little higher than I want. Um, yeah, the, um, the render time for 4K would be insane. Um, I would think it'd be maybe 24 minutes a frame times 24 frames which is going to be uh, almost an hour per every yeah two and a half frames out of 24 frames yeah that would take a long time so I'm on frame technically on frame one BB-8 is rolling perfectly and yeah the background is not motion blurred properly like it's just starting to be blurred out I think I might want to raise R2-D2 just a little bit so it doesn't look like because R2-D2 has wheels when he's moving like this when he's in um, roving mode I like to call 
Um, so I'm going to lift them up just a little bit so there's separation between his feet and the floor. And then I think we're, we should be just about done with this animation. Um, I am trying to figure out what else I can add into it. I know there's like a lot of other things I can add into it. I might keep it at 720p just because it is like two and a half minutes per frame. Like I said, uh, it took seven hours to render a 10 second, was it 10 seconds? Almost a three second animation. So you gotta think of the actual time it's playable towards time it took to render. Um, yeah, it's insane, seven hours for two seconds of video. I can loop this for like maybe 10 times and then it's like, oh, it's 20 seconds of video, 30 seconds of video. Um, but realistically, the shot isn't changing. It's all the same shot. Um, I'm going to try and make sure that there is no LUT. I don't want this. I don't want there to be a LUT. I want it to be flat. Technically, no color change, no nothing. BB-8 has an orange, yellowish orange circle. I want there to be a yellowish orange circle. Um, I want to make sure I can edit the colors afterwards. I don't want to have any added information other than uh, the glow, the lens flares. I can also fake the lasers in a way, but I'd have to create another um, cutout of BB-8 R2-D2 just so I can get that um, back of them laser shot. It's a little extra work that I'm still learning with the redshift. motion blur is hard because it's basically you're you're creating a perfect image and then you're kind of moving it to the side and blurring it out on both sides so it's like it's adding motion without you know that's how it calculates the motion and everything so everything except for r2d2 and bb8 are technically moving in the scene I'm moving away from the camera. <clears throat> I mean, it's a nice picture just by itself. It's just, um, 